Hey, so welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can achieve this ripple effect in our web pages. So this is part of the material design spec, and essentially, when you click on a button, it should give you some feedback to show that you've actually clicked on it. So this is part of material design, so you'll see this a lot on Android, as well as some iOS apps. So as you can see, when I click on all these buttons, they give the ripple effect. So this one is giving the lighter effect. And then when I go to the menu here, this one gives the darker effect. I've just implemented this in an app that I'm working on for my startup. I can't talk about it, hence why I've just removed all the titles and everything. So to get started, we've just got to head over to this weird looking address here. I'll leave the link in the description. So this guy has already created the few files that we need in order to achieve this effect. So if you go on his website, you will see a whole load of demos on there, just like I've just shown you. So to get started, just head over to the documentation. And as you can see here, you can either download it from their GitHub repository or you can install it of Node. If you know how to use Node, by all means do it that way. But just for simplicity, I'm gonna use GitHub and then download the source code here and then open that up. And inside of this folder, we've got various files. So we've got SRC, that's for the source code. As you can see, we've got JavaScript here and then we've got our less SAS, SCSS, whatever. Um, the folder we're gonna use is this distribution folder. And then the files that we need are waves.css and waves.javascript. Or alternatively, you can use this min.css or min.javascript, and those are smaller files. We're going to use those ones. So we're going to take these files and we're going to put them in our project. So I'm going to create a project folder and then just drag those in. And then in brackets, I've just pulled up my project folder, so this demo folder, and we're going to create a new file called index.html. And from here, I'm just going to create a demo project. Okay, so what I've just done is I've initialized a pretty basic HTML page. I have also included a link to the CSS page as well as a link to the JavaScript. And then what I've done is I've created a link here. So this is an anchor tag that says click on me. And I've styled it with a background color, border, width, text align, blah, blah, blah. And that just looks like this. So obviously at the moment when I click on it, nothing happens. So now what we need to do is we need to actually initialize waves. So what we're gonna do is gonna create a new script here. You can do this externally, or you can do it within the same page, same as every other JavaScript ever. So what we need to do is we need to call waves.attach. And what this basically does is it attaches the ripple effect to a HTML element. So for example, you could attach it to a class or an ID or the actual name of an element. So for example, I could put A in here. And then what we need to do is do waves.init, which just initializes waves. So now when we refresh, I can click on this and I get the uh, darker effect. And that's pretty much all you need to know about getting started with waves to add a ripple effect. There is another parameter you can add which will add a different class onto your button. So we've got waves button, wave float, wave circle, waves block. And those will just give you different styles of the effect. So if you've got like a rounded button or a completely circular button, you can play around with these. I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.